We're now going to look at approximations to calculations. Being able to approximate calculations is a really important skill, particularly if you use your calculator quite a lot, you need to be able to tell whether the answer looks sensible or not. Um, also, if you're shopping or something, you might need to be able to work out, for instance, what uh, six items at 4.99 might be really quickly. Well, if you just say 4.99 nearly a fiver, and six times five pounds, 30 pound, then it's gonna be roughly 30 pound. You know, so being able to approximate calculations is really useful. Let's look at some examples now. Okay, if an exam tells you to estimate or to approximate a calculation, they don't want you to work out it exactly. So for instance, they wouldn't want you to work out this, um, this sum exactly by multiplying these decimal numbers. What they want you to do is to round the numbers to nice, sensible, easy numbers to deal with, and then approximate the calculation. So, um, instead of 30.12, it's a nice sensible number to, to use. I quite often will round it to one significant figure. That means one number followed by zeros, or if it was like a decimal number, not point, you know, not, and then the number, you know, so one number at the end of the decimal number, and then do the calculation. So let's round this one to 30. And 4.96, well, one, dec uh, one significant figure, let's round that to five. And 30 times five would be 150. So, 30.12 multiplied by 4.96 is approximately 150. Notice I've used squiggly, squiggly equal sign, or in it, squiggly equal sign. This is the approximation symbol, and it just means roughly equal to. So, 30.12 multiplied by 4.96 is roughly equal to 150. We can also approximate this calculation 402.5 plus 397.5 divided by. 49.8 multiplied by 4.03. So I would always round these numbers to one significant figure to begin with. So let's round these to one significant figure. Well, 402.5 would round to 400 to one significant figure. 397.5 would round to 400 to three significant figure. Uh, watch the video on rounding uh, to significant figures to see um, some more advice on that. Uh, on the denominator, 49.8 would round to 50 to one significant figure and 4.03 would round to 4 to one significant figure. 400 plus 400 is 800, and uh, 50 multiplied by 4 is 200. So we've got 800 divided by 200. Well, 800 divided by 200, well, that's going to be 4, because you've got 200, 400, 600, 800, so it's 4. Alternatively, remember, you can cancel the zeros like that and do 8 divided by 2 which is 4. So when we approximate this sum it's the answer is approximately equal to 4. And remember your squiggly equal sign your approximate equal sign. Approximately equal sign. Okay finally we've been asked to approximate 30.5 divided by 0 0.019. So to do this you'd want to round them to one uh, significant figure as before. So 30.5, well that's going to round to 30. And 0 0.019, well that's going to round to, uh, to one significant figure to 0 0.02. So 0 0.02. So we want to do 30 divided by 0 0.02. Watch the video on dividing by decimals to see further advice on how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to move the decimal point to the end of the number I'm dividing by. So I want it to be just a whole number. So I want it to be 2, so I'm going to multiply by 100. So I'm going to multiply both of these numbers by 100. So I get 30, and I add two zeros onto the end, and I change that to 2. So I've got 3,000 divided by 2. Remember, watch the video dividing by decimals to see how I've done that step. 30,000 divided by 2, well, half of 3,000 is 1,500. So the answer is approximately 1,500.